G'day everyone, it's the captain. Welcome back to the channel. A big thank you, of course, to each and every one of you that like and subscribe to these videos and you share them around the world with all of your buddies, all of your pals, and all of your mates. And as the voice of the voiceless, let me tell you about today's video. Today we are checking in on a silly billy stupid face who goes by the name Central Tyrant Investigations, but all his friends just seem to call him Penis Plantation Alpha. So anyway, window licking William thought it'd be a great idea to stop at a crime scene of a shooting, and he tries his YouTube uni degree in law paper mache with some of the B's and G's in blue, which goes about as well as a penguin joining SEAL Team 6 in Syria. Let's see how the city sentinels like him hanging around like a Thailand itch, eh? Let's check it out. All right. What's going on, guys? What's up, Jenny? Thank you for uh, stopping on by. Uh, yeah, so uh, I was driving and I see a whole bunch of fire uh, and police vehicles booking it down the road. So uh, I turned around and uh, looks like there is a uh, shooting, uh, double shooting here. Uh, they did rush the uh, people off uh, to the hospital. That's the uh, sirens you hear right now. So he's got the, uh, yeah, the one guy, he, they were doing chest compressions, but he wasn't moving at all, guys. He got shot, so not looking good there. Uh, so they are doing their crime scene investigation. They have the uh, body replica thing that they lay out on the ground where the shooting happens. So. So instead of respecting the fucking victim's family and letting the police do their fucking jobs, you thought to yourself, I know I'm due at my clan erotica meeting, but I would prefer to hang out here and be more of a pain in the ass than Wentworth Miller's grinder date. You were driving along and you followed emergency services to the scene. That's the lighting your ass hair on fire with an incense burner to protect yourself from tiger attacks level of dumb. Because if that shit fucking worked, Roy from Siegfried and Roy wouldn't have had his throat punched in by a 400 pound feline no fucks machine. You've given your third grade level book report here on what's going on, so get back into your shit box of sadness and fuck off. Yeah, thank you, Karen. I appreciate you. Um, there's a lot of people around. It's, it's a hectic scene, really. Oh, wow. I see uh, about three or four officers from uh, my past video, including this guy right here, this sergeant from the state office building, the uneducated sergeant, and also the uh, lieutenant is right behind the car there. Sorry. He's right behind the car there. Uh, so yeah, there's some shit that happened. I'm about to walk down the other street and, and see if I can get down there. So let's, uh, actually do that right now. There's a whole bunch of commotion going on out front there. I think I can cut through right here. Let's cut through. <laughs> I don't recommend this, but I hear a whole bunch of screaming and yelling going on up here. Oh shit. Columbus. What part of this scene screams, hey, I should really make this about me because my mummy never fucking hugged me. Clearly, there is something that's going on that needs your input the same way Gwyneth Paltrow's steam vagina water tastes nice. Not at all. And Gwyneth, I want me $20 back. You said that it would taste like cinnamon and it didn't taste like cinnamon. It tasted like stripper glitter and sadness. 
Listen, firm missile fuel, you're about to make a bad day worse by unwantingly injecting yourself into this like it's a Boy Scout jamboree and you're fucking R. Kelly! Wouldn't you feel more at home back at your seaside shanty just whacking it to reruns of Duck Dynasty? Fuck off! Ain't no motherfucking way. We just walked, right, that's what I'm saying. Y'all looking for the wrong person. He just got up out the damn court. Yeah, what's up, guys? Sorry about that. I'm trying to, yeah, I'm trying to see what's all going on. It looked like they were roughing up one of the uh, guys here, so. I'm recording that. <laughs> this lady from the window told me not to put her in, in the camera. Like, I wasn't even facing the camera towards her. So you fucking turn the camera and film her anyway. Well done, Corporal Cockburns. You have proved once again that a snail with syphilis has a better grip on fucking reality than you will ever have, you dirty goat fucker. Can someone please fucking explain to me about how what's going on is any of this cough of phlegm from a pensioner's penis's business? Like, I get it, you're bored while your grandmother's getting the basement sprayed for fleas, but surely there's some petting zoo that you could legally be standing 150 feet from? But you know that doesn't get you views from like-minded lead paint lickers like you. So you're going to keep pushing along like blood in a fat kid's veins until you have no choice but to play our favourite game, Fuck Around and Find Out. <laughs> hey, don't talk. Don't talk. Don't talk. I'm good here. Back up, you're gonna get arrested. Back up ten feet, you're gonna get arrested. Sir, you know there's no law against. Yes, uh, there is. Back up, dude. I'm yeah, telling I know you, last what I'm time, back up. I'm, here, I'm someone inter arrest him for interfering. How am I interfering? Staying on the public. You, I told I you to want. back up ten feet, and you didn't do it. There's no law against yes, that. Yes, there is. It's called interfering. Interference. I'm on. I told you to back up, and you didn't back up. All right, guys, sorry to pause the video, but uh, yeah, this officer placed me under arrest saying I was interfering um, when I was just speaking to somebody on the side. Uh, the camera was facing forward, so it looked like I was talking to somebody, but no, I was talking to somebody on the side. Um, there is no 10 foot rule about how far back or how close I, I have to be. Um, I was not in front of any yellow tape. If this was a crime scene and I was in front of the tape, obviously that is a problem, but there was no tape. I was on a public sidewalk. There was another person standing next to me. Um, so I was in an area that I was allowed to be in. Uh, so the officer said that I was interfering and you guys know that that is not true. Um, just because an officer tells you to back up, it does not mean that you have to back up. Uh, those are unlawful orders. Now, if he was telling me that they were going to be putting crime scene tape up, uh, that would have been a little bit different. I would have probably backed up. Um, but yeah, guys, so, uh, let's get back into the video. You want him out? Oh, it honestly amazes me to hear a brain burn out like a melted candle of arse wax in real time. Firstly, fuckface, you interfered when you spoke to the man in custody during the police investigation. 
Secondly, you were given a lawful directive to move back and you were told that it was an active crime scene. In fact, you actually videoed the beginning of that part of their investigation. Thirdly, the lack of crime scene tape is about as relevant as your My Little Pony porn addiction that you confessed in your letter to Santa. Fuck! I would say that his behaviour was from being dropped on his head as a baby, but we all fucking know that he was never held. The blue whale's vagina is now the second biggest fucking pussy in the world directly behind this matchstick of shit. Okay, you guys want to go? Okay, you guys want to go? What do you got going on this side? Okay, you guys want to go? Okay, you Is this on the table? See, there's crime scene tape right there. Now I can't. I can't. Be but there's crime, crime scene all over the place. No, here, I wasn't man. in front of that. Crime it doesn't scene matter. Thing. It doesn't yeah. matter. I'm a police officer. I, I, I asked you. I gave you a lawful order to back up ten feet, okay, and you I, refused. I, I didn't refuse. You refused. I did not. You refused, refuse. and you got arrested. Sir, I did not refuse. That's the end of it. Turn around. You fucking 100% refuse there, Lucy Goosey. You thought you knew the law better than Lieutenant Don't Play, and now you're going to learn that the in in the word inmate stands for intimate. Oh, it's good to see the local police department also has a squad ready for the no fucks to give world championship, and Lieutenant Don't Play is making sure that they all practice every day, and if one fucking player, if one fucking player shows the slightest fuck to give, then they spend the weekend cleaning out the no fucks den of disappointment. Hey, just remember too, when you get to jail, it's up the road, not across the street, and maybe a warm shower can speed it along for you. I, I fucking bet, I fucking bet that you lick the whole of a donut before you take a bite, don't you? Don't you? Don't you, you dirty bastard? <laughs> I don't want this to get damaged. Who are you wrong with? Uh, Officer Elton. I 
why is it that when you are trying to ask an officer a question, they think you are arguing? Simply asking a question is not arguing, police. Um, you guys want to say that to make it seem like we're always doing something um, that we are not supposed to be doing. But simply talking and asking question is not illegal and is not arguing. Answer the damn question. He fucking answered your retard riddle a few times there, Dragon Nut Z. Re remember when the cops could just fucking smack some sense into people and the world was fucking better for it? I fucking miss those days. How can so many people be against inbred abortions? Surely you just need to show them videos like this and the law can be changed from conceivement to 21 years of age. Ah, fuck man, you were told to fuck off. You were told to back up, and then you decided to add a little bit of fuck around to your finding out mixture, and then you drank it all up, and now you get to go to jail and play pin the penis in the asshole. Also, stop fucking narrating your own videos. This isn't the fucking wonder years there, Fred Savage. Changing the subject ever so slightly, I'll tell you who drank it all up. Lake Bell. She was over here for some vitamin captain protein a bit earlier today. Needless to say, her beaver was eager. It felt like a giant squid sucking the bolts off a submarine's hull. Oh, Jesus. Lieutenant Gilman just said that he told me to back up and I said no. Not one time did I refuse to back up. I was trying to ask a question of why I need to back up. There was no crime scene tape up. So Officer Gilman, Lieutenant Gilman, you are a big liar. The St. Louis Police Department has a big problem about overstepping their authority and uh, thinking that they can say whatever and we have to do whatever. Um, just because they say something does not mean we have to do it. Uh, Lieutenant Gilman, I did check my recording. I checked every bit of it, and I did not say no. I did not say I was going to refuse to uh, move back. So you need to check your ears, Mr. Sir. I mean, Mr. Tyrant. I mean, Mr. I shouldn't be a cop. Mr. Uh, I shouldn't be a lieutenant. <laughs> Fucking good one. <laughs> that will teach him. <laughs> Fucking tyrant. <laughs> Why do you keep trying to drag other people into your fuck knuckle no friends bullshit come testing area, Aaron? Fucking do us all a favor and shut the fuck up. No one in that street gives a mosquito's fuck about you being arrested, seeing as two people were just shot. Fucking hell, but why not? Let's make it all about you, eh? You sad, pathetic drain of oxygen that should never have been fired out of that homeless horse's cock rocket. Just fucking do us all a favour and go and play hide and seek with Oscar Pistorius. And let me guess, when you went back and watched the video, you forgot about this little gold nugget. Don't talk. I'm good here. Of course you forgot to mention that, didn't you? Hey, it doesn't suit that narrative, that shitstorm story of fucking shit that you are finger painting for your fuck nut followers. Hey, I bet that your mates call you badminton, don't they? They call you badminton. They go, look, there's fucking badminton over there. And people go, well, why do you call him badminton? And they all say, because he shuttles cock. Yeah, we fucking know it. We all know it. Everyone knows it. Your mum, your dad, your grandmother, that bloke that's in the house across the road. Everyone
Every fucking knows it. Even the dude in the red shirt down at the bus stop, he fucking knows that your name is fucking badminton because you're shot all cock. Everyone fucking knows it. Everyone. Even Santa. Santa got that letter and he's like, check out this fucking loser that loves little fucking pony porn. He's got a terrible addiction and he wanted to fucking see if he could get some little pony fucking collectibles for Christmas. Oh, look what he signed the letter as. He signed it as badminton because he shuttles cock. Fuck you. So Pig Pegging Pete went off to jail for a big dose of Big Bubba Balls with an extra serving of inmate on his plate. And then this dickhead chose to go down and make a complaint where he lied his ass off about what took place, which is about as common for these inhabitants of planet dumb fuck. Luckily enough, he got it all on video and now it's online, so that's going to help his case the same way that putting a porcupine up your pooper will help you solve an algebra equation. So fucking high fives all around there, I say. On that note, it does bring us the end of another great video. I hope you've had a bit of fun. I hope you've had a bit of a laugh. I hope you've taken your shirt off got naked. If you want, click that like and subscribe button. Now that you've done that, you can go running naked down the road, find your nearest library, kick open the doors gently, and then say really, really softly, hey, listen here, you bookworm and fucks. Why don't you watch this video with me? And someone's going to be like, shh. You'd be like, I'm sorry, I just wanted to show you this fucking video. It's pretty fucking cool. You should probably watch it. And then someone's going to go, wow, check it out. He's got a video. This is a fucking library. We're supposed to be reading, but it's got a fucking visual aid. How can we not look? And then they're all going to come quietly up to the fucking video. They're all going to sit around and they're all going to be like, check out this fucking video. How fucking great is it? And then everyone's going to go, fuck being quiet. Let's have a fucking library orgy. And they're going to take off their tops. They're going to get fucking naked. There's going to be pages of tits and dicks everywhere. And you should be pretty fucking proud of yourself because you started that. And who knows? You might just get some money. But I better get going. I'm supposed to have a few beers with Terry. <laughs> and Terry. He sticks his head over the fence yesterday and he says, Well, I have fucking something to tell you. I said, fucking hit me with it, Terry. You look like a man with a plan. What is going on? And he says, well, I have a fucking brilliant idea. I said, oh, yeah, you got a brilliant idea. Hit me with it, mate. What is your brilliant idea? And he says, well, I said to my girlfriend, I fucking said to her, I said, listen here, girlfriend, yo fucking big titted beauty. I think we should go on a cruise to a Caribbean island. I said, oh, yeah, that sounds like plan. Tell me, uh, Jamaica? And he goes, well, fucking not yet, but she is thinking about it. <sighs> fucking hell, Terry. All right. All right.